Hello, I'm Jim Kerr and welcome to Passion Highway. As you can see behind me, I'm standing in front of our beautiful 2020 Grand Design Momentum 397TH. So over the winter, we've been doing a number of upgrades of this coach. So on this episode, we're gonna review the solar system and what we've got set up so far. So let's get started, shall we? So to start our upgrade project, the first thing that we did was add panels to the roof. When we ordered our grand design, we ordered it with the factory solar kit. That came with one 300 watt Jaboni panel. One panel really isn't sufficient for our needs, so we added two additional panels to the roof. This gives us a total of 900 watts of power to start, and we're probably going to add one or two more panels down the road. I'm inside of the heart of the beast now. That's right, I'm in the battery compartment in the front of the coach. This is where all of the wiring comes together and this is where the action is. The heart of any solar system really comes to this device right here and this is the solar charge controller. In our setup, we use the Victron MPPT15085TR. I know it's a bunch of numbers and letters, but really what that means is we can do up to 150 volt DC input, and it has the ability to send out 85 amps of charging capability. This is also a Bluetooth enabled device, which is really nice. So we can connect to it and program uh, all of the features and settings right from our smartphone. You can't beat it. On top of that, we added in the display. Uh, we love the idea of having this display out here inside of the battery compartment so we can see right away what's going on with the coach. It's got 13.8 volts and it's outputting 3 amps. It's really nice to know that just by coming in and taking a look at what's going on out here. From the Victron, there's really two basic inputs. The one side is the solar array that's called PV. And the other side is the battery charging output of the unit. So the battery charging simply just comes on down and it goes in through a standard DC circuit breaker that if for any reason we need to turn off DC, we can pop that breaker. Or if it starts putting out more than the rated wattage, it'll automatically kick the unit off to protect the coach. From there, we have a simple battery bus setup, and all we did was uh, wire everything in. We liked having the uh, CNC distribution panels better because they're rated for a thousand amps each. Okay, I'm back up to the charge controller, and let's chase down the lines for the solar panels. They come in through the PV, and they make their way down, and they kind of just go behind our DC system and into this switch. Now what this switch is, this is an actual solar rated switch. When you turn the knob, it will kick off the system in five milliseconds. The reason that's important is that the voltage is very high on a solar array and you don't want to have slow reacting fuse or circuit breaker because it could actually start a spark and a fire. Feeding into our solar switch, it's a pretty simple setup. We just have uh, down here in this corner a fast acting fuse that just kicks the power coming down from the roof in case for any reason uh, we're putting out too much amps on our lines. This is a safety feature to protect the wiring so we don't have a fire. Someone with a keen eye might have noticed this little gadget. This is a BGA-225. And basically what this does is this automatically shuts the DC power off to the coach when the voltage gets to about 11 and a half volts. So uh, what this does is it protects the system so we don't overly discharge our batteries. So what will happen is when this trips off, the way we have things wired in is that the solar charge controller and the battery monitors continue to stay connected to the batteries, but all the power draw systems on the inside of the coach uh, shut off. 
So this is a nice safety feature and it works terrific. When the sun comes back out and the panels start charging the batteries again, as soon as it gets up to its threshold voltage, it automatically turns back on. We love these devices. We highly recommend it. This is another unique feature that we've installed in our coach. So it's basically a relay. It's a 500 amp with up to uh, 750 amps of uh, surge power capability. The way most of the uh, grand design and coaches are wired is there's a switch on the inside, a master switch that turns your battery power on and off. And all of the power that runs inside the coach actually runs through those switches. We don't really like that design. Um, if that switch were to go bad, the entire power system would go out. And a relay is a lot safer of an option, and it also keeps the wire runs very short so you get more efficiency out of it. So what we did was we installed this relay and then we bypassed the switch that had all of the power running through it and we just ran small lines down and through that switch. So what happens now is the OEM switch turns the power on to this relay that trips the relay and then it activates and closes the circuit and it starts sending power to the DC bus inside. And if we were to follow this back over, what happens is it runs through our BGA-225. So when uh, the power gets overloaded for any reason or gets to a low voltage, what happens is the BGA-225 cuts the power feeding the relay and turns the relay off. So that's a much more efficient design, and it gives us the ability to have two ways to turn the power off going inside of the coach. The other feature you'll see in many, many uh, installations is a battery shunt. So this is another Victron product. Uh, we use a Victron 712. And uh, what this does is this routes all of the negative power from uh, the coach. So nothing connects to the battery except this one cable. And this cable is on the battery side. The cables above feed into our negative uh, bus side and everything else negative connects to that. And so what the shunt does is it then measures all of the power being used inside of the coach. This lets us get in a very accurate measurement of what's going on. And this is wired in in such a way that when the BGA-225 shuts off, the system still stays on. So we're able to go back into the history and data collection and see what exact time did the battery get to 11.5 volts? How long did it take to charge back up? Uh, data points like that all gets collected because of this one unit. The last main system to talk about is this switch right here. So this is our master DC cutoff switch. And it's a pretty simple device. It's either on or it's off. And you can turn it in either direction to turn it on or off. Uh, these gray ones are actually high amperage switches. A lot of times folks use the, the smaller switches. It's really not a good idea. If you were to overdraw the amps for some reason, you could actually uh, melt the internal compartment of the switch and it could cause a failure, possibly even a fire. So this switch is pretty simple. This uh, bottom wire that's coming in here is the uh, DC main battery bank. So what it does is routes to the main battery bank. The switch itself has two outputs and you can see these two lines coming out of it. The top line here routes itself over and up into the Blue Sea Systems distribution panel. So this is where we put in all of our heavy load devices, um, stuff like the jacks, uh, the generator starter, and the inverters gets powered off of that system. The other line, a little bit smaller cabling coming in, it is actually routing over to the BGA-225. And so what that's doing is feeding in the DC power to inside of the coach. So it comes out of the switch, 
into the BGA, out of the BGA, over to the relay, and from the relay into the main distribution panel that goes and feeds all of the systems inside. So this gives us a lot of fail-safe capabilities. If anything were to happen, it makes it very easy for us to start disconnecting components and it makes it a heck of a lot easier to be able to troubleshoot. One thing you may have noticed if you're watching closely is that there's two big feeds that go up to these uh, big magnum fuses. And so what is behind those covers are just big 400 amp fast blow fuses. And at this point in our project, we don't have them completely powered in just yet. But what's going to happen is these are going to feed our uh, Victron inverters. So one will run one half of the 50 amp leg and the other will run the other half of the 50 amp leg. And so this is how we're going to get power to those inverters. Well, that's it, folks. That concludes the review of our solar system upgrade and our 2020 Grand Design Momentum 397TH. I hope you all found this useful. And if you did, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. If you click the little subscribe button below this video, it'll really help us out a lot. Click the subscribe and click the bell icon. And what that'll do is that'll notify you when we post more videos. And it also helps us quite a bit with YouTube so people know that you appreciate our content. So until next time, I'm Jim Kerr and thank you for visiting Passion Highway.